Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me in Cause Redux, in which we're playing as out there, CAR, or Constitutional American Republic. Currently, we are doing agriculture exports, exports, not experts, but exports, for slightly some more political power and a little bit more stability, as we're still trying to finish up this part of the focus tree, but we've got a war with Venezuela and Ecuador because, huh, well, why not? As we're trying to get more agency upgrades and stuff like that, and it seems like the mod's moving a little faster than yesterday, so I do apologize, apologize if I ever seem a bit uppity, a bit cranky, a bit upset at, the, at any sort of mods I play, just because well, sometimes they're really flipping frustrating, and or and or I don't have a lot of time. So um, we need a lot of chromium and we need a lot of rubber. Uh, we could probably get a little bit more, but we will invade Cuba eventually. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And also, I converted all these guys to motorized because. I like fast boys. Actually, you know what? Go even faster. Faster, 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 as someone in a certain Red Flood mod would say. Hey, Venezuela, you're dead! One of the comments from yesterday's video, though, was, uh, Hail Patton! Another one, additionally, was, Mexico first, to the chopping block! Yes, very much so, yes. Also, we're trying to go ahead and try to invade these guys as well. Uh, we've already set up the naval invasion as, as such. Uh, here, not too much. Are you guys ready? They're not ready to go. So we'll go to war with them soon enough. West Indies Federation, are you by yourself? Yes, they are. Ecuador's fallen as well. How nice. Um, it's, someone also says in, from the last comments, or last video, yes. <clears throat> That's literally all the person put. Yes. So yes, yourself. Uh, since we're down here anyways, is Peru allied with anybody? No. That by Jose de la Riva Aguero. Albania, oh. Also, we do this with some coffee to keep us nice and warm as we're trying to get out of our deficit of political power, but that's probably going to stay here for the rest of the campaign, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Anything else here? No, he's still only level 4, which does kind of suck, but that's alright. Ooh, eh, it's alright. Anything down here? No, we got all that stuff. We just need to work on more naval stuff. We have, like, no manpower. We have a little bit left. <clears throat> but, yeah, this kind of sucks. Oh, what, what? Two Sicilies. Um, okay, well, we have the French Kingdom. We have England here as well. Now, Scotland, Wales, England, all of, uh, it owns all of Ireland. Okay, Inglesi's here, which honestly, I might give that to someone else because I don't like the way it looks. Russia's still dying. Belarus, or Belarus, yeah, is, uh, Belarus is having a good old time. Ukraine's doing pretty darn well. Um, the Indian Empire is actually doing really well against the Bharti Khan. I and mean, the Republic of China looking really thick. It's really weird green, Shangxi. The. Dutch Aust Asian state is doing quite well as well, but you know it is what it is. Um, Brazilian operative capture, that's nice. Cryptology, realm of Peru. Let's see how long that lasts. Well, because I do want to invade uh, Brazil as well, but since we're here, go ahead, have some fun. Are you guys suffering any sort of attrition up here? No, you're not, which is good. Good, good, good. You're probably suffering attrition down here. Building grants, nice. Uh, do that from here to here, and do that. Oh, uh, we're still trying to build it up there as well, which is good. All right, um, Peru, maybe Bolivia. Oh, that's a thick Paraguay. Oh, could be thicker though, or maybe not thick, but just long. It's a long boy. Electrification, yes. You're about that, but you're ahead. More military factories. What do we What do we do with military factories now? Planes, I guess, but we have no rubber. I get some armored trains because he can. Oh, coffee, 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 coffee. How strong are they? 37,000? They have like 19 divisions, that's not very much. Are you ready to go to war with these guys? It looks like, for the most part, yes. If you're about that, please go right ahead. Let's stop training for now. Do that. So this ends soon. Of course, who needed political power, right? Who needed political power? Disperse industry. Uh, grab more rubber. And then... Oh, we have a carrier here as well. Yay! Two escort cruisers, even though this group we already have a carrier. So that's just very, very nice. Um, up to 20, we have no other planes, we have no manpower now, which makes sense. We're going to ship annex these guys, so we'll see. We'll get there eventually. As we'll just keep beelining through all this stuff. Civil factories, reconstruction is over. I want that research slide, even though by this point it doesn't really matter too much. We'll keep working on this plan. We'll go work on this stuff down here too, but this doesn't give us any more manpower, really. Factory Apple would be nice. Oh, it gives you 5,500 men, but it's not much. 
Um, and we have all the stuff uh, we will do over here as well. Patent speech. Oh, that's not bad. Get a more political power. Yeah, I'd root out coward, which is kind of hurts your man uh, political power at least. Not very much though. If I was more manpower, oh, uh, we could probably white crosses. Almost every American knows someone who died in the Civil War. Though we disagreed with their opponents, they fought as heroically as our soldiers did, and for that they should be honored. Let us have memorials for all the Americans who perished, regardless of their allegiance. It's the right thing to do, and it will endear us to thousands of grieving families, perhaps even bring them to our side. If you wonder about these, please go ahead, but we're just going to straight up annex them. Supplies are pretty bad. Um, we have air superiority, though, which is good. We have only 12 casts. Relification, not bad. Let's go down. White Cross is next. We, get, we lose 10 political power, we get 1,000 more manpower, but more recruitable population factor, which is nice. Even though we have Jim Crow, that's alright. Just Jimmy Crowy. Alright, let's see. Can we actually do this now? Maybe. <clears throat> see what we can do. If we can't win, then we'll, well, we'll see. We'll try. I kind of have a feeling we won't, just because all things are currently, but you never know. Also, these are marine divisions, which shouldn't be too bad, so... Oh, whoops. These marines are 43 combo width. Serbia's... Serbia's gone. So now we can do that to force the attack. How did Serbia... Oh, Serbia lost to these guys. Okay, that makes sense. Illyria. Come on, guys. You can do it. Got quite a bit of experience. It's nice. Okay, so you landed here, which is great. So which means you can probably win right there, too. Which means you win right there. Which means you all can win right here, too. Very good. Ah, they're fighting in the mountains. Kind of sucks. And we've almost got them. Hey, Dominican Republic, thank you. A successful naval invasion. These guys are next, though. Oh, wait. Uh, we have truce. Oh, just, oh, just oh, okay. A black economy, huh? Well, alright. I should probably stop trying to invade everybody. <clears throat> Military occupation? Sure, why not? Who needed political power, right? Who needed it? So after these instances, because... Wait. Why did... Wait, I didn't pop... Oh, they automatically do that. Yeah, no, I'm probably just going to annex them just because I don't want them to be a puppet. So, I should have realized that before. That's my bad. But we'll t spend some time so we can get rid of all the deficit of political power. You, me, and a little bit of a Bolivian time, if I do say so myself. Oh, so far, not bad. Not great. We're just not, can't quite win up here, but it'll take a little bit of time. We lost a little bit of manpower. A thousand. We'll kill it off 23-ish thousand. Oh, uh, wait. Excuse me. Um, Germany? How did you get down there? Uh, I'm not sure if I like the Germans in South America, but we'll deal with that. We'll deal with it soon enough. Uh, Bolivia's not going to be that difficult to take out, though. They usually are not super difficult, but, you know, you never know. La Paz, yes? Yes? Also, I didn't realize this guy's level 8, though. He's very strong. As we are trying to do the S... SM wit. So, after that, we're going to come over here, too. Alright, so patent speech. Now that patent's taking control, he has to solidify his position. His power over the military shows... Uh, military alone likely guarantees that he'll remain in power, but the country will not be stable until <clears throat> he can find ways to appear to the powerful factions, or powerful political factions of the car, the forests, the NDWL, and the Klan, and even old Democrats. Pan has decided to draft a speech to try and appeal to the American people. Those advisors are begging to make a targeted appeal to one group or another to help grow our base. The question is, which group shall that be? <clears throat> Excuse me, which is a very, very good question, of course, but what do we want here? Military police, maybe? I'll put down some more. Uh, Rebelliousness, cavalry divisions. Who are we using? Is it cavalry divisions for that type of stuff? Yeah. It costs a little more manpower, but well, that gives you quite a bit more suppression to work with. 
which would be very nice. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Oh boy. Oh, well, can't do that now. Huh. We got it done. But they're not really. Go ahead, guys. You know, we didn't get that much planning done at all. It's alright. Happens. Happens, happens. Anything else here? It's just probably just ships still. We just have no manpower now. We can get some advanced medium tanks, but we're just going to go for modern tanks, probably, at this point. Come on. <clears throat> and we should have them. Yay! We could get stuff to Chile, but I'm thinking probably not. If anything, I do want to take out Paraguay. Uh, Brazil would probably be the next choice. I don't like how Paraguay is part of... Oh, they're both part of the Rikes Pact. Okay, so that sucks. So basically, that means what we're going to do is we're going to have to wait to go to war with both nations, because we'll go to war with them at the same time, which means you all are going to go to war with Chile first. Uh, no, let's go to war with these guys. Now, that's going to suck. A lot of supply bases here. I'll make sure we're all connected through here as well. Like that. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Actually, are you with us? Oh, cancer administrator. That's fine. Uh, we'll do a few more focuses, too. Punish cowards. We don't want yellow cowards in the army. We sure as heck don't want them in our communities. If we want to rebel our country, we have to get rid of these maggots and get through this on good old American guts. We'll only get there if we work as a team, and I don't care if he's a soldier, a farmer, or a far worker. We all have a job to do. We'll clean up the enemy, and now let's clean up the country. It's separate but equal. Now that the war is over and the country is under our control, one of the biggest questions facing our politicians and patent is what to do about the racial and religious questions, specifically. All sides of the car pushing for certain actions against blacks and Jews, though what they be believe should be done about the aforementioned group varies depending on who we talk to. In any case, past view on both generally differ from extremist groups, and here's some more mainstream old democratic stances. What should we do? Visit the soldiers first. Despite George S. Patton's position as president, he greatly dislikes the politics of his office. At first, to be with the people, specifically his soldiers. As such, he has left many of the day-to-day -day decisions to making to his vice president and cabinet, while travels across the country, giving speeches to veterans from all sides of the Civil War. For the part, the soldiers are considerably excited when they learn of Patton's arrival and his profanity-laden or uh, inspirational speeches of inspired men nationwide. More manpower, more division attack, nice. And then we'll also do, ooh, it's not bad, new tank forces. Uh, kick insurgencies? Yeah, I'll see that one. Even though the Civil War is over, there are still some resistance groups attempting to destabilize their fragile government. Other leaders might be worried by such developments, but Pan has been in high spirits, just desperate to be in the field again. Though the sort of warfare is not as clear cut as two armies clashing, Pan is insisting we move quickly so we can kick them in the balls and go home. For his men, that's all they need to hear. Patton's speech. George S. Patton has opted to give a speech today, in which he plans to discuss his goals while empowering that what his vision is for the country moving forward. Patton, a more studious man than he's often given credit for, has drafted his own speech, refusing to allow his advisors to edit it. The speech contains reflections from Patton about recent events. He takes time to discuss Douglas MacArthur, explaining that MacArthur's vanity made him more of a sissy than someone who could fight for America. Furthermore, Patton lambasts him for his actions during the Bonus Army incident and argues that fighting was necessary to preserve America. On Butler and the CSA, Patton surprisingly little, though he points to former President Herbert Hoover's easing of restrictions on unions as partly to blame for the chaos that ensued after. While never, really, never explicitly stated, most of Patton's advisors believe he omitted many mentions of the American Union states out of respect for his friend Connor Fox, although there's a strange comment about putting a kingfish with a wall mount on his quarters. Most of all, Patton's speech focuses on the veterans of the Civil War, calling them heroes for their efforts in saving America, but he also cautions now that now is not the time to be a yellow coward and keeping our order and rebuilding America will be a team effort. There will be those who get in the way. But Patton urges his men to hold them by the balls and kick him in the butt. The speech is fairly mild for Patton, and while he won't let his advisors edit it, he may be open to making it longer. What should we make? Sh we should make sure he makes a political message as well. But who should he appeal to? Appeal in the race? Appeal to the NDWL? Chris has the banks and those who run them. Decry syndicalism and labor unions. Well, you get more stability in that one. Three percent more. I want more authoritarian democracy. I like that one overall. Who likes the bankers? Racial laws? The time has come for Pan to decide how to handle the racial question. Uh, old Democrats generally support the status quo of Jim Crow, while more extremist factions would like to further see discrimination against some blacks. Pan agrees with neither, but uh, while he's always been a vocal racist, Pan witnessed the prowess of black soldiers during the Civil War. He does not believe that they are equal to whites, but does, not, does argue that it would be foolish to not utilize them in our military. Given the loss of Americans sustained in the war, men are men and we need all the help we can get, he argues. What should we do? Keep the status quo? Or make military exceptions to Jim Crow. Well, I don't want any more national popul uh, national populism. I don't want, and I definitely don't want to lose any more authoritarian democracy. So, keep the status quo. Slap herd, um, nationwide, uh, national discipline. 
George was patent emphasized discipline over all else in his men, but now he wished to extend that to all Americans. Alcoholism, rape, uh, adultery, and other off vi offenses violated American culture and lead to decline. We should discourage these things, especially while we continue to rebuild the country, while also continuing to push patents, programs, and reconstruction, which are hard on workers, but are becoming more normal every day. Semitic legislation? One of the group's patent blames for the turmoil of recent years, in fact, more than any other group, is the Jews. It is this group, both foreign and domestic, that has bankrolled, destabilizing forces, and tried to rip the country apart. Now I must decide what we should do about them. Should we pass legislation as patents prefer, would prefer to, or leave it alone for now? Leave it alone for now, or pass legislation. We get Jewish segregation. Nice. Also, uh, Russia died. Russia, what the heck? Oh my goodness. So the other part of the Reich's path, which is going to be very difficult to fight, but whatever. And now, I think Japan's at war with them? The Republic of China now exists. Oh, they're fighting the Reichs. Oh, Japan's fighting the Reichsback. Look at that. Um, yeah. It is what it is. We have the National Pacification Army. The Reichsback is very strong in this campaign. All I care about is uniting uh, North and South America, which is the main goal. But let's screw that. I can do this instead. Oh, they're going to war with Paraguay. Okay. I wanted to send soldiers down here, but I guess we didn't get there in time. Oh, crap. That's not good. But spy-wise, we're doing okay up here. Alright, so at this point, you guys probably want to start doing that. Go there, 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 there. And then you guys do the same kind of deal. They're not going to be able to do all this stuff, but whatever. Eventually. And we do have quite a bit more manpower. How do you get more manpower? Maybe just population growth? Oh, crap. That's not good. Should have waited for these guys to get over there first, but whatever. Come on. It's taking so long. This is the North will do okay, and then Chile will die, and then we'll kill off uh, probably anyone else that's here. Probably. So, uh, other than that, still putting up a lot more supply, stuff like that, even nuclear reactors if we need them. So, we got two more up there. I'll uh, get another thing of that in, Oklahoma, in Nebraska, not Oklahoma. It's fine. Alright, so you guys are here. Let's go ahead and move in when you can. That'd be fine. Ooh. Hey, not bad. I don't know if it should be okay as well. Okay, Consurgence. National Discipline. The last supply bases in the North is very nice. New tank forces. With experience of the Civil War, it's clear that the tanks are central to modern warfare. We should build tank schools, train new tank crews, and build as many tanks as possible. The country with a large tank force will have the world in its hand. Pan argues, and we should be the first in that metric. Otherwise, we would risk fa falling behind. Japan would not allow that. Good, good, good. Shove it, huh? American values. Oh, actually, let's do this one first. George Span was born in the West and believes that the popularity of the Wild West and a culture is something to be taken notice of or even encouraged. But he also stresses traditional American price and work ethic, noting that such ideas have been important since the nation's founding. Together, these two ideas, well, form the nucleus of a new but still traditional American culture that emphasizes courage, determination, and, of course, hard work. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> More extraction? Yes, please. The Minutemen Crush. They're finished with AFP's militia collapsing, and the men either retreating or facing reprisal from our men. They're finished, and our people can rest easy, knowing that this force of hooligans will no longer terrorize them. Supplies can move with ease, and soldiers have one less worry about them in their lives. Thank goodness. <clears throat> thank, thank, thank goodness. That would help if I gave you actual orders. Oh, you took out Uruguay. Nice. These are still just lighting, so. They don't have a lot of iron on them, but they should be moving pretty quickly. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Supply-wise, they should be okay right there. Over here, we might have a little bit of an issue. We're definitely going to need some supply through here, though. I'm already... We're already building up a lot. We actually have built up a lot of supply bases up here, too, so... That'd be very nice. On rolling in. <clears throat> Excuse me. We still have coffee here too. Which is great. Ah, Argentina. Thank you very much. Now, I definitely don't want to be using. Oh, what my voice do? My voice be cracking. Um, use tanks in mountains? Or let's not be dumb. Or too dumb, at least. Just dumb enough. <clears throat> Alright, and then one more. Actually, you know what's good? You guys can down here. Let's do it. That'll, that'll, 
We can still use them down here. There you go. Get another one too, because you can. Oh, we can do both of these. Oh, well, that's going to cost even more political power. God dang it. We finally have a positive amount of political power, but that's not going to last, obviously. Hey, look at that. The Falklands. They're not British. They're not, Ar they're not Argentinian. They're actually American, if you didn't know. Plastic explosives. National discipline. American values. Oh, you betcha. And you guys are still ready to go to war. Oh, we need to get some more naval invasion stuff. That's right. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that one next, probably. Because Brazil's, go Brazil's going to be a pain in the butt to beat up. Uh, are we good this time? I don't want to enter too early. Uh, still m making the way down here. It's fine. Tungsten. A lot of stuff like that. No. Chromium, which sucks. I don't understand why they can't just, like... Why, why they... Chile owns this. Or not, Chile doesn't own this. Or Argentina doesn't own this part. I don't understand. I'm not going to claim like I actually do understand, so. Do we have Cuba done? Brazil done. Alright. Well, whatever. We should do okay up here. Should do alright. We'll do this stuff as well. We can attack Red Guard cells. We'll get there eventually, though. National discipline. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Santiago. Anything here? Panzer. Move even faster if you can. That'd be good. Um, more dreadnoughts, I guess. I don't know. Howitzers. Beta Ati. God, I wish you could just upgrade the Artie. That'd be so much. That'd be so nice. I like big cannons, and I cannot lie. Job so far. Better military police. 1944. Railway guns. I forgot about railway guns this campaign. My bad. Not like we really need them. Good job, good job. And Chile's gone. Which is a great, great thing. The slap her nationwide. Panic's known for its potential for anger, though this is perhaps an unfair characterization. Regardless, today that exact scenario has occurred and Panic slapped someone. Other prominent ideological fa factions and government decide how to best respond with their own interests in mind. Though our citizens have mixed views on the event, we must act quickly to prevent new conflicts. And we already did in lessons of history. Patton, a student of history, scoffs at MacArthur and Caesar's name, and has decided to come with his names of his own to poke fun at the man. He's viciously called himself the American Hannibal, the American Scipio, the American Napoleon, and even the American Ass-Kicker, in a speech to his men. Nicknamed aside, Patton says he aims to learn the lessons from those times that still apply today, and implement them in the way that brings America's military closer to victory. Are you organized political parties? Not a man to care much about parties or political identities, Patton. Has agreed to proposals. His advisors put forward to reorganize the old Republican Democratic parties. If they do so, his advisors will recruit prominent Democrats and either have them serve as heads of the new Democratic Party or switch over to the Republican Party and rebuild it from scratch. What do they do, Patton warns? He will not have cowards in his government. Very, very good. And we're completely out of uh, chromium, which sucks. Um, at this point, we might just go to war these guys. Political power-wise, oh, we have to just fly crap. Well, no political power. God dang it. Who can go to war with them? War with them. Cuba. Crap. Just Cuba? Well, that's not good. I wasn't planning on that, but... Hmm. Well, are we ready for a war against South America? The rest of South America? Could be. Um, you guys are ready to invade. <clears throat> well, we could try it. If it goes poorly, then it goes poorly, but... We have no manpower, of course, which does suck as well. We might want to wait a little bit. Still want to do a slap, though. But we probably have an event after that one, too. Um, how much manpower? How strong is Brazil? Good amount of manpower. Um, quite a few divisions. Paraguay has up to 5 to 10 divisions. So, actually, we push quickly to Paraguay. Open up this entire front because we have the tanks down here as well. Tanks should do alright. Slap her nationwide. And then restore the initiative, of course, as well. Spies the stage for politics. Pan's grown even easy in the coming weeks, or the recent weeks. In the wake of the mounting reports and tensions between the ODP and its rival groups, it's clear that action will need to be taken and more bloodshed is to be avoided. Pan's worldview is typically unsuited to politics, but his desire for quick action may just save the nation from collapse. Let's stop heard around the country. Today, George S. Pan visited a hospital in Arkansas, high, high in spirits and ready to motivate his men, but when he found a soldier who appeared to not be hurt at all, <clears throat> he just strolled over to the man and asked what was wrong. 
The man replied that it just didn't feel good and that the distress of war has gone to him. A fuming pat. I uh, slapped the man across the face and reprimanded him for his cowardice, calling him a yellow coward and threatening him. At one point, Pat even threatened to stand the man against the wall and have him killed via firing squad or to kill him himself to save time, luckily. Uh, hospital commander. Um, Donald E. Courier intervened between the two and prevented further violence. Pat's actions have received mixed reactions among the public, and though Fortis and N the NDWLC Pat is a potentially unstable leader, and instead we plan to replace him, privately saying that he has done nothing for them anyway. We must act to prevent a coup. What should we do? Draft negotiations with either or both. Oh, crap. That's not good. <clears throat> Oroguanyan. I can't say that word. Huh. Yeah, I definitely want to get some more political power. Of course, we, we just annexed everybody, which didn't help us, but whatever. Point eight two is not very much every day. But this task force should do all right. The U.S. San Diego... Oh. Oh. Well, would you look at that? We have four carriers, four dreadnoughts, which is not bad. My goodness. Oh, Burma got really thick there. China's looking not bad. Why does the German Empire own all that stuff? Central Asian Federation. Oh, my goodness. Algeria. I don't know why they just unite all this stuff. Deutsche Middle Africa. Netherlands, of course. Well, we'll see. Oh, what are you guys doing? On the way to repair, which is fine. Um, Valkyrie gear, cruiser stuff. Oh, actually, they're repairing now. It's good. Wow, month, USSS, Chicago. That kind of sucks. Well, we're continuing to reorganize the political parties as we'll try to get rid of our deficit of PP. Question of political parties. With the new union now largely stabilizing since the horrors of the Second American Civil War and the massive chafing under the military's rule, General Patton and a few more of his liberal associates have begun to toy with the idea of reinstating regulated democratic proceedings. If pursued, we would allow democratic elections or once organized, but only with approved candidates in the former Republican and Democratic parties. But we could always use or continue. Whether benevolent martial law policy, but your choice is ultimately up to Patton. Reject these weak-willed democracy lovers versus we should begin the transition towards regulated democracy. Um... Uh, I guess we'll begin the transition, maybe? Right now, though, I do not want to do a focus, just because I want to get some more stuff done, like get getting more political power. Because technically, we still need a core, a whole bunch of places here. So, reorganize the Democratic Party? Murray's original split from the Democratic Party was largely due to corruption and weakness of the National Democratic Party in the past decade. However, the party could be redeemed under new leadership and revitalized structure. Pan is open to allowing the party to exist once more. But insist that it's led by loyal politicians who will not be susceptible to the same corruption as previous Democratic Party bosses. The main candidates lead the new parties are Harry F. Byrd, who could lead its conservative wing, and James F. Burns, who, quite conservative himself, could lead a liberal wing more in favor of the intervention. <clears throat> However, strong the party may be unpopular with some of our people, and we can instead decide to lead the party in this grave. What should we do? Give it to Byrd and Burns. Reorganize the Republican Party? The Republican Party has never been popular in the South, but now that we control the whole country, some are asking us to restore it. Most of the party cried us during the war, but some are of its extreme members join our ranks. Furthermore, the party can be redeemed under new leadership and revitalized structure. Pat is open to allowing the party to exist once more, but says it is led by loyal politicians who will not be strongly opposed to his main ideas for how American how America should run. Should be run. The main candidates will lead the new party to Strom Thurmond, who will lead its conservative business oriented wing, and Joseph McCarthy, who, while so quite business friendly himself, could lead a liberal wing more in favor of somewhat liberal social policies. Such policies will only be considered liberal by our standards, but it would be still provide an option for former Republicans. However, Restoring the party may be unpopular with some of our people, and we could instead decide to leave the party in great. What should we do? Give it, give it, give it. Give more political power. And begin um, coring stuff. I should have done this before. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I really want to core the West or New England. Actually, New England is a, is that a core colony. That's a core state. Over here, yeah, the West. Pretty much all just the south and portions of the Midwest and New England are cores. Yeah. As much to... Uh, well, we can still do this too. 1% more would be very nice, actually. Maybe we'll do that first. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, interim government, the committee. Oh, we got rid of... Oh, we get more daily... Oh, Democratic support, huh? Oh, well, darn it. Eh, yeah, whatever. Currently, we're getting 1.86 every single day, which is not bad. But, yeah. we close out of this. We'll go to war soon, but... <clears throat> we need that political power. Gotta have it. Landing craft is good, finally. And then we'll also grab this one, too. Oh. Excuse me. Apologies. But in the meantime, we're sort of the initiative. Despite the state's politics, Pat has grown uneasy. Of course, I think I read this one already, right? Yeah. 
and after that, Unbroken Spirit. Pan's America has emerged from the chaos of the 1930s bruised and wounded, but with an unbroken spirit. The president's tough programs for building the country are beginning to pay off, as Americans adjust to Pan's demanding leadership style and adapt remarkably well. Mar remarkably well. It won't be long before the country is fully recovered. Pan, before his part, looks to the horizon and wonders where God will take him next. Uh, better uh, military leader costs, recovery rate, local manpower, uh, daily political power gain, center limit, factory output, factory repair speed. So, other than that, I think those are the last two we have not done yet that we can do. Oh, Pan's benevolence. Well, never mind. Okay, so that did open up this patch, which is actually really nice. But in the meantime, let's grab some limited conscription. And, hey. Let's go down to. Pan understands the democracy is the American way and that this is what made us who we are. And thanks to his merciful hand, we can restore the democratic system and that's free to the hand of the clan. Let's die now. Actually, you know, I want you to be separate. Well, so we can't go to war. We can't go to war with them. Oh, we don't just. Oh, we just have to go to war with Cuba. Oh, that's fine. Which call all the rest of the rocks back in as well. So that's fine. Whatever. So now we have no chromium, but now Cuba's now they're at war with us too. It is what it is. First Democratic election in Dixie. Finally, after long weeks of preparation and stressful organization, allowed candidates and parties to step forth, and our first Democratic and free elections we finally commence. May the best man win, preserve democracy, and our heart fought values as we step into this new phase of our truly Republican future. Conservative Dixiecrats, led by Bird, Strom Thurmond, rising anti syndicalist sentiment is led by people Justice McCarthy, Barons, uh, social democracy. Oh crap, maybe I should have kept the other guy, yeah. Bird. Is Bird still here? People said it. Or Russell Jr. Uh, maybe I made a mistake with this one. Yeah. I don't. I want to finish this stuff first. All right. So I don't like that at all. Um. Even though I guess we're not dictocrats, huh? I definitely want to finish these two up, so. Um, yeah, I should have kept Patton, but whatever. Um, yeah, I guess technically we'll do Patton's Benevolence, and then we'll follow up with what? Oh, Victory of the Republicans. Oh, this one's. Oh. A truly Native America. We get plus 2% weekly stability. Holy cow. Or over here, an America of justice. More political power. Stability. We get weekly manpower plus 80. So, Barons versus Bird. The Bird Organization. Daily social conservative support. Reverse separate but equal policy. Uh, victory of the Democrats, I guess. The Democrats have won the first election since Pan's coup and solidified the claim of our new system as people see no reason to doubt their loyal steering of the ship since the Civil War and Bird's presidency. The people have chosen Harry Bird as their leader, seeing his exploits as governor of Virginia have shown that keeping a conservative nature in running politics while also having pride in one state and wider nation could be successful. And now the people look to him to keep the success going. Well, crap, I don't want to get rid of Patton. But oh well. And here we have it, everyone. Actually, now we have no manpower, but we can actually core... Uh, parts of this. Let's rebuild the West. I definitely want to rebuild the West, but I'm thinking West more like California. Rocky States? Yeah. Let's do that one. More empowering the bird organization. We, and we just took out Havana as well. The success in Virginia seen as a state should be spread by the nation now. And why not? But it ensured that in exchange for the people's loyalty to them, the people propelled in new heights and achievements, reverse the separate but equal policy. Separate but equals has served us well, however, flaws have been shown to bird. Why must taxpayers and public infrastructure go towards maintaining the drinking fountains of ungrateful citizens? It's time to end this money pit. Very nice. Santiago de Cuba. Oh, never mind. They, they did well. Good job. Hope we do okay here. Um, come over here because I do want to take these guys out as well. But Brazil should be... Well, actually, I'm okay against Brazil. You know, not too bad. Not too shabby. Actually, doing really, really well. Wow, they've lost a lot of guys. Oh, they're fighting Japan, too. I forgot about that. But it's mobilizing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And hopefully the German Navy's been mostly tied down by the Japanese Navy, which should be pretty pretty decent. At least my opinion. Paraguay. Didn't think they last long, so... Oh, um, I guess they're fighting Belarus as well. Yeah. Not too concerned about that. East, the Siberian Federation, huh? 
Four convoys, convoys. Go tanky boys. I know there's a lot of mountains and really crappy infrastructure out there, but still. You guys might want to go home and not die in the water. Or just fight yourselves. If you really want to. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I said I want to take out all North and South America, but states like that, we don't, where we don't have, like, um, I forgot that too, actually. Uh, like, justifications. It, it takes so long to just fight, I'm not going to bother with it. So, better much to take these guys out and we'll call it a campaign, probably. And finish out Bird stuff, too. I do want to see what Bird has to say. Oh, but we took out Cuba, we should have well, more Chromium. More Chromium, at least. Passive defense, nice. That'd be good. Very, very good. Alrighty. Brazil. Uploading harvesters, why not? Pretty nice. More naval stuff, yes, please. We, even, we have like only a few subs, not a ton, but we do have some. Ain't not bad, but over here, not much. Yeah, upgrades, we did lose a sub so far, which does suck, but whatever. Screen water expert, and those Belarusia. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. We're actually moving very quickly through Brazil, which I love. You guys, nothing there. Oh, go use that. Power of the Bird Organization. Okay, then. Uh, but the second bird, the Rodak. The Blue Ridge Mountains, Orlando Marshes, and Rocky Mountains. Towns revealed to us the lack of infrastructure in our nation leaves many. Citizens cut off from the rest of their own nation, even state. Birds shall give us an really gift to the common people in form of roads, moderate antebellum economics. The American farmer is the descendant of a fine line of pioneers and yeomen who put sweat in his effort to feed the local town for pay until he can finally move his family to, into a plantation and place of status. Let's continue to encourage this American way of labor and economic relationship. Favor the classic Democrats. It was Jackson who gave all rightful American men the right to vote and to represent their house in the democratic system. So, let's continue to honor Jackson's memory as we give people reason to have faith in us while granting them due respect and treatment. Party of some immigrants, but not all, obviously. Just as we were the harbingers of universal male suffrage for the original settlers, we shall ensure the newcomers, uh, that newcomers in America, so long as they adapt to a civilized way of life, shall be welcomed into our party and torch-bearing representation of American citizens all around. In America of justice. Oh, how woeful it is to see an American man be pushed around by uncaring bosses and savage youth who refuse to live separately. With well, all the new power in the legislative department, we shall ensure a new era in America. A just era. Kind of cool. Very nice. Why do a house of land? Ecological warfare, army department, of course. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Rio. Force it. And do the river stuff, too. I mean, that's what they wanted. It's not what I wanted. It's what they wanted. Keep rebuilding them Rockies. Still mobilizing? Yeah, we are. Good, good, good. Holy crap. Looks like bomber. It's fine. Not too concerned about losing bombers, of course. There you go, nice. Bracket shooting. Now, for the sub, you might as well take that too. Good sub stuff. Grab. Grab. Grab, grab, grab. Uh, supplies must be really bad up here. Yeah. Which makes sense. Probably where most of the population lives anyway, so. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing well. Rio de Janeiro. I also hope that air base, but these guys are cut off now, even though this is where the capital is. Which means these guys will be cut off, because our ships should be doing some pretty decent work. Nice. I could get some chromium, but I still want more manpower. It's like the one thing that we're lacking constantly. Go, these guys will die. Flooding in San Salvador. We don't know about that. Please go ahead. You guys actually do anything there? 
We out of tanks, or just it's at least just manpower. Good. Victoria, good. Closing in, reducing how much supply they can get through here, which is good, 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 good. Nice combo, let's go bye bye. Slowly losing more subs though. Thirty-seven thousand, French Kingdom, Greece, Russia, Brazil's lost six hundred thousand to us, which is awesome. Nice, good stuff. Psychological warfare is not bad either. It's gonna take a while to take these guys out, but whatever. Did we court yet? Yeah, looks like it's been cord. You guys are hold. Slow the line for now. That damn should move in. I the motorized moving really. Hey, Brazil's gone. There you go. Nice. Well, that's pretty much all I wanted. I mean, we can do all this stuff. And I did use console commands just to make sure we could get, like, this stuff done, too. But, like... And there we have it. I just did all these just because there's no point to just wait. Since we're pretty much done here. I mean, I wanted pretty much all of North South America. We didn't get some of these states, but... In all honesty, we probably would eventually. Uh, we do have a few focuses over here to do, but... I've done this plenty of times that I'm not going to do them. But, hey! I guess that's going to be it for us today. Ooh. Destroy the Anglo World, of course, through the boards as well, but whatever. If you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.